brain lecture. So, this is a picture of a person looking sideways. And this is going to represent our five senses. So we've got sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing. And all five of those senses feed into what I like to call the heart of the brain. This heart of the brain is the limbic system. Why do we call it the heart of the brain? Because it's responsible for emotions and feelings. It is our fight or flight. It's a very primitive part of the brain. Sometimes people think our feelings come from this part of the body, the heart. That is the organ that pumps blood. This is the organ that is responsible for feelings. And those feelings are controlled by a brain chemical called dopamine. It's the brain's natural dope. We abbreviate that DA. Now, all chemicals of abuse, all substances of abuse, heroin, cocaine, all end up stimulating this very same part of the brain called the limbic system. So I want you to stay with me, okay? I like to use this example. Have you ever had road rage? Have you ever been in love? Have you ever felt very, very intensely? When you feel those intense emotions like rage, hate, love, all of those emotions are stimulating dopamine in this part of the brain. Have you ever seen anybody who's been strung out on a drug like meth or cocaine, you'll see that they can have a set of emotions including paranoia, fear, or an ecstatic sense of energy that looks sort of like mania. So what do we do about it? In psychiatry, what we're able to do is we're able to decrease dopamine in this part of the brain by using certain medications. Medications such as Respiradol, Zyprexa, Seroquel, anything that is called an antipsychotic or neuroleptic will decrease dopamine in this part of the brain. And essentially the result is a more calm, loving person. 